Hi there. Welcome to my lab and today's exciting named reaction presentation. Today, we're going to look at the Beckman rearrangement reaction. First, a few facts. As its name implies, the Beckman reaction belongs to the rearrangement category of reactions in organic chemistry. The reaction is named after the German chemist Ernst Otto Beckmann, born in 1853. So let's take a look at the reaction process. Overall, the Beckman rearrangement involves the conversion of aldoxamines and ketoxamines into their corresponding amides in aqueous solutions under acidic conditions, where an excess of strong Bronsted acids catalyze the reaction. The mechanism most commonly consists of alkyl migration, antiperiplanar to the expulsion of a leaving group to form a neutrillium ion. This is followed by salvolysis to an imidate and then tautomerization to the amide. Despite its relatively harsh reaction conditions that limits its use to sensitive substrates, the biggest advantage of the reaction is its high efficiency and straightforward experimental procedures. As aldoxamine and ketoxamine are common building blocks, the reaction is a useful option to the synthesis of amides and lactams. The Beckman rearrangement is still important in industry today as a key step in the manufacture of caprolactam, a precursor to the synthesis of filaments and fibers such as nylon. The total synthesis of the non-natural codeine also utilized the Beckman rearrangement. Thermo Fisher Scientific offers a wide range of chemical products, including all of those used in this reaction, some of which you can see here. To find out more about this reaction and our chemical products and services that can help you, visit the Named Reactions page today.